and welcome to BIM Energy Evaluation. In this video, we will have a look at the workflow in BIM Energy Evaluation. BIM Energy Evaluation is an easy to use, fully dynamic energy calculation software that provides fast answers to complex questions regarding energy efficiency in the real estate sector. It can be used to evaluate different actions to reduce the energy usage in the buildings. The application runs in your web browser and you log on with your username and password. It's also possible to share buildings with other users. The first step in the work in the application is to create a project. I insert the project name and move on to the second step. The second step is to connect a climate file to your project. You can either choose a climate file from the map, or you can type in a Swedish city name to search from the climate files on the server. I choose Stockholm. After that, we continue to the third step. The third step is where you select a catalog to your project. And in BIM Energy, we have a default catalog with predefined topologies, constructions, and materials. So I select the default catalog, the English version, and then I create my project. The second step in the workflow is the building step. This is where I create my buildings. After creating my building, I select a typology to my building. And the typology is a collection of constructions. This is an easy way to start modeling your building. And then you can modify the constructions in more detail. I continue to create the geom geometry of the building. I can edit the number of stories, the height of the stories, and the width and the depth of the building. And here I can examine the, the model in the 3D model. For non-rectangular geometries, I continue to edit floor plan. And here I can edit the geometry of the, uh, of the story for each story separately. So I start with story number one. I edit floor plan. Create the geometry and then I save the geometry. And then I copy this floor plan to the above stories. And then I move on to the construction step, which is where I can have a look at the const constructions in my chosen typology and their U values. And I can choose to uh, edit my typology to choose from the, the list of constructions and adapt to the building I want to model. I can also move on to the constructions and uh, examine the constructions in more detail. I can see which materials they compose of and the U value. And I can also add the new material layers and they have to adapt to the building. Here in the usage step, you set the temperature for heating and cooling set point, human heat gain, hot top water use, and a couple of more parameters. You can edit the schemas for these parameters by day of the week, time of the day, or week of the year. I move on to the ventilation step, where I add my air handling units. And here I can choose from four, four templates. And I choose exhaust and supply air with heat exchanger. changer. 
And here I can have a look at the exhaust and supply airflows. And I can, of course, edit the schemas for these. I can also have a look at the, the properties. And here I can set the lowest and highest supply air temperature. And here I can see my efficiency of the heat recovery in the heat exchanger. And here I can add several air handling units. And here in the heating step, I choose uh, district heating. I can um, add a limitation of the heating supplied to the building. I can add uh, electricity to, to the circulation pumps. I can also add hot top water pipe losses. Move on to the cooling. And here I add a cooling machine if I have uh, active cooling in, in my building. The report step is the last step in the workflow in BIM Energy. Here, the in data and the result of my building are summarized. And I can have a look at the energy balance of my building and the, the energy supplied to the building. We can also uh, create our own graphs in the report. I choose um, to see how the heat supply are changing during the year, and I can also see how the heat supply changes as a function of the outdoor temperature. And these graphs that I uh, create, I can, I can add to my report. And now when I have the energy model of my reference building, it's time to start adding renovation actions. I go back to the building step. I create an alternative of my building. And one renovation action could be to add more insulation of my roof. I have a look at the construction on the roof today. On the roof, I have a poorly insulated heavy building. So I find that construction. I create a copy. I edit the copy. I add a material layer. And I choose the material I want to add. Type in the thickness and I place the material in the construction. And the last thing is to, to go back to the typology and edit the construction in the typology. Instead of poor in, poorly insulated heavy building roof, I add a roof with more insulation. Save and I can examine the, how the energy balance changes. Another renovation action could be to change the windows of the building. Today we have uh, poorly insulated heavy building Double glazed windows with the U value 2.7. I create a copy. And I change from 2.7 to 0 0.9. And save. I again go back to my typology. Today I have double glazed windows. I edit the typology. I 
and I'll choose the new windows instead. And then I can study how the energy supply is reduced. Finally, I want to add a heat pump to the building and see how that changes the energy performance. I change the heating to heat pump. And I add a geothermal heat pump. And now I have uh, electricity to the heat pump instead in the result. And based on these buildings that I have in my project, one report are created for each building so I can evaluate and examine the results separately. And thank you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have further questions regarding BIM Energy Evaluation.